World Vision Global has projected some 72 million people of the world's population would be hit harder by poverty in the advent of COVID-19. Now, in Ghana, poverty is said to have forced some parents to push their girl children into early marriage. Here's a report by Stanley Nibliu. According to World Vision, COVID-19 would permanently leave a scar on global development and aggravate poverty, especially in vulnerable communities. 36 million children out of 72 million people projected to be affected globally by the impact of coronavirus would go hungrier, sicker, less educated and exposed to more violence and abuse according to World Vision. It added the international community ought to prioritize long-term risk from the impact of COVID-19. In Ghana, World Vision has allocated $4.2 million to support the fight. Water, sanitation and hygiene facilities will be enhanced with the support. National Director Dixon Tunde said any hardship caused as a result of the coronavirus could force more girls into child marriage, thereby eroding the gains made. Poverty has been the real major drive uh, into uh, child marriages. Now with this COVID-19, more and more families will become desperate and that can actually force more girl children into uh, marriages. Uh, so those are the kind of things that we will be using this uh, additional funding to focus on. As classroom education remains suspended, World Vision Country Director wants internal control mechanisms to protect children who access the internet to study. Some people are forgetting online learning for children. That has its own challenges because we don't want children to be exposed to pornographic material. So there have to be some proper internal controls uh, that will protect children uh, from experiencing more uh, hardships. World Vision West Africa Director Kala Denizad proceeds lifting of Ghana's lockdown amid soaring positive cases is not ideal. Once countries show that there is a slowdown in the transmission of the virus, then they can start removing some of the restrictions. But where we are now in Ghana, the cases are increasing at an alarming rate. So we're not at the point yet that I think that we can lift up um, those restrictions until we're sure that the education, the sensitization, and the access to PPEs can be put in place so that when these social gatherings occur, people are protected.